Good evening everybody and welcome again. This evening we will be having a service of Compline from the Book of Common Prayer. It will start at six o'clock but first of all let me introduce myself. I'm Father John Barker uh, from the All Saints Harrow Wheel which is a Church of England parish in North London, part of the Diocese of London. During this lockdown when we are unable to worship within our church we're having daily services live streamed using Facebook and then later on YouTube. And so our service will begin in a few minutes, uh, but before that, we're going to prepare ourselves for worship and there will be some uh, music. It's Lord of the Dance. <laughs> I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And it's that Lord, our Lord, 
our risen Lord and our ascended Lord that we will worship this evening. And welcome to you all and welcome particularly Liliana who's joining us from Canada. This evening we give thanks to God for 46 years of marriage of John and Terry Bob who join our services every day uh, from uh, the northern part of the United States and uh, at their wedding the one of the readings was the Psalm 121 and that will be our evening psalm today. Let us worship God. I greet you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Let's take a moment to withdraw from the beauty of today and the busyness of today and give thanks to God for the weather, for the time to enjoy nature, for our health, for being part of God's kingdom. And as we give thanks for that, let us remember that we have failed God we are imperfect, so let us confess our imperfections to God Almighty now. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us all pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our evening hymn before the ending of the day. Sung beautifully by the choir of Trudeau, Truro Cathedral.
beautiful night in. And now, one of the wedding readings of John and Terry Bob, Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Some verses from the Gospel according to St Matthew. Jesus reassures us, Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of an eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Our Gospel Canticle Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Today has been a day of great uncertainty and confusion in this country. The understanding of what we should do and how we should behave and how we should conduct ourselves through it, throughout this time of coronavirus has been shaken by the actions of others and now our confusion is increased. I'm not going to give opinions, I'm not going to make any pronouncements. 
what I am going to do is share the response of Bishop Mark Bryant, who for many years was Bishop of Jarrow in the Diocese of Durham. And he wrote this morning, this morning I knew I needed to refer to Thomas Merton. And here are the words of Thomas Merton that he was referring to. Ours is a time of anxiety because we have willed it to be so. Our anxiety is not imposed by force on us from outside. We impose it on our world and upon one another from within ourselves. Without any doubt, sanctity means travelling away from the area of anxiety to the area in which there is no anxiety. Or maybe it means learning from God to be without anxiety in the midst of anxiety. May we try to learn from God to be without anxiety in this dreadful time of anxiety. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in the evening of this day, we stop to worship you. And as we worship you, we pray that we may able may be able to withdraw from the anxiety which surrounds us in our locality and in our world at the present time. We commend to you what is and what will be. As we have prayed, may your will be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for those who accept the responsibilities for leadership. May they seek to lead us properly and for the good of all. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And now we pray for those who we know and love, who have particular need of your comfort and your peace at this moment. We name them for your hearing in the silence of our prayers. And from 
our parish prayer list. We continue to pray for Rita Todd and for Bob, her husband, and Mandy, her daughter. We pray for Hilary Diamond and Jane Slade, for Angela Kidd, for Tony Hassan, for Claire Rawdy, and for Laura Baker. Lord, comfort them and protect them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, in these prayers, we commend to you all of those who are suffering from coronavirus at this time. And we commend to you the immortal souls of those who have died in these last hours. And as we recall those who have died, we remember those who we have known and loved, who have helped us to be better people. We thank you that we knew them. We pray that we may show all that they have taught us in the way that we live our lives. <coughs> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our evening collect. Be present, O merciful Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's wonderful to know that as we are worshipping here in Harrow Weald, there are people joining us from other parts of the United Kingdom and from literally all over the world. It is wonderful that we can worship together. It doesn't matter whether we're able to travel. It doesn't matter whether our churches are closed. We will continuing we will continue worshiping god and so i leave you for this evening tomorrow morning we will have a parish eucharist with hymns uh, that will be at 10 30 uk time and uh, i wish you a good evening i wish you a safe and a happy evening let's finish with john rutter the lord bless you and keep you